Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope all are you doing great and fine. Today I'm going to show you this cut crease eye makeup look, which is pink all over. I really love pink color, that's why I have created this pink cut crease look for you guys. I hope you will like it. If you like, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and family if you want to let me know in the comment section below what else you want to watch in my tutorials i would love to recreate them and by the way in this look i have used a liquid cream blush if you want me to create that diy on my channel comment down below i would love to recreate that till then bye let's start with the tutorial by the way as a primer i'm going to use maybelline pore eraser primer it's a silicon based primer i am using it in my pore area near to my nose as a foundation i'm going to be using nyx can't stop most of foundation i bought it few days back and i have used it quite few times and i'm loving this foundation my shade is true beige i'm taking one pump I'm spreading it on all over my face I haven't done any kind of color correction let's see how it covers my imperfection it gives you a very matte finish if you have dry skin and you want to use it you can use it but before that make sure you are using a moisturizer moisturizer I'm using a beauty blender, of course it's damp to blend it out. NYX has a wide range of colors like for each and every skin tone more or less. The finishing is really matte. Personally I don't like that much of full coverage foundation because I feel it makes my face cakey. It's medium to buildable coverage. It has blended really fast in my skin, I'm really happy with the finish. Now I'm going to highlight my face using these con two concealers. How you guys are passing your time at a lockdown situation? Let me know in the comment section below. Maybe I will get some of idea. The concealer is also blending very well on the top of the foundation. I'm really happy with the outcome of the foundation. As a blush, I will use a cream blush. It's a DIY. I have made it. If you want to watch any kind of video how I have made it, let me know in the comment section below. I will share it with you guys. So it's a DIY. I have made it. It's an experiment. It's a pink color blush, so I am applying with a tiny brush. Let's blend it with the beauty blender nicely. Let me know. Do you want to know how I made this cream blush? It gives you really rosy cheeks, which I really really love. Uh, while using a cream blush, you have to be really careful. You have to use it slow slow or little by little because if you use it in tons of amount it will be really tough to manage like this i am building up the color according to my requirements slowly i'm not using lots of product at once look it's giving you a really natural glow like pink radiant i really like blush i have used a bit of shimmer it that's why it's giving you a glow if you don't like that much of blush you can use lesser amount now i'm going to be set my face using revolution banana powder i love this powder a lot you can see by the amount it's left a little bit i have to buy another one you might be thinking why i have used too much of blush it's not like that it will fade after a few times so i'm going to set my face let 
let's now move on to the eyes i'm going to be using a palette which have huge colors i'm going to be starting with this light pink color it's not that much light by the way this pink color and using a fluffy blending brush and it will be my first transition color it's a non-branded palette if you have 35e palette it's exactly due profit yeah the color payoff might not be the same because that's a more fee but it's a non-brand the eye makeup i'm going to be showing is really easy you'll find it really easy hope so now i'm going to use this dark magenta color to define more more my crease I'm planning to do a cut crease today, proper cut crease. Help for the best. I'm using the first color again and blending the edges nicely so that there is no harsh line. Thirdly, I'm going to be using a pencil brush. It's from Zoeva. It's 230 brush. And I'm using a dark purple color to intensify my crease. my crease of course not with the scissor i'm going to use a concealer and a concealer brush to cut my crease i'm taking concealer on the back of my hand get a proper cut crease you are going to be using a concealer and look at the top so that you will get find your crease if you have a really hooded eyes in the concealed area i'm going to be using uh, this color is from uh, Ma Makeup Revolution Sugar and Spice and this color I'm gonna show a swatch so that you can get an idea I don't know So with the same brush I'm going to top I'm going to use these two colors with um, a smoky sh shader brush. I'm going to use these two colors under my eyes. After that, I'm going to be using a nude pencil. It's from Rimmel. If you are finding a good drugstore nude pencil, it's the best, I must say. Now I'm going to be using mascara on my top and bottom lashes. You can keep it like this. I'm going to be using false lashes. Under my eyes, I'm going to use a bit of translucent powder of that banana powder for lips i'm going to be using floma silk matte lipstick in the shade 04 in 
the center of my lips I'm going to be using a lighter lip color it's from Maybelline ink lipstick and the shade is 65 I'm going to use it a bit in the center if you want you can skip this So that was the look for today. I hope you liked it. If you like, please like, comment, share and please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Till then, bye.